Welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Monday, June 15th, uh, and we are continuing with the New Zealand Book of Prayers Midday Prayer, but transferring it over to the morning. Uh, and there should be a link to the PDF so you can follow along. Uh, we will uh, begin with the invocation. Dear siblings, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 105, verses 1 through 11, and then we jump ahead to verses 37 through 45. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon God's name. Make known the deeds of the Lord among the peoples. Sing to the Lord, sing praises, and speak of all God's marvelous works. Glory in God's holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the strength of the Lord. Continually seek God's face. Remember the marvels God has done, the wonders and the judgments of God's mouth. O offspring of Abraham, God's servant, O children of Jacob, God's chosen ones, the Lord is our God, whose judgments prevail in all the world, who has always been mindful of the covenant, the promise made for a thousand generations. The covenant made with Abraham, the oath sworn to Isaac, which God established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan to be your allotted inheritance. You led out your people with silver and gold, and all their tribes there was not one that stumbled. Egypt was glad to see them go, because they were afraid of them. You spread out a cloud for a covering and a fire to give light by night. They asked, and you brought quail, and satisfied them with bread from heaven. You opened the rock and water flowed, so the river ran in the dry places. For you remembered your holy word, and Abraham your servant. So you led forth your people with gladness, your chosen with shouts of joy. You gave your people the lands of the nations, and they took the fruit of other soil, toil, that they might keep your statutes and observe your teachings. Alleluia. A reading for this morning comes from Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, My servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross that Jor the Jordan, you and all his people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and the Lebanon as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites, to the great sea in the west shall be your territory. No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way, pros you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, pass through the camp and command the people, prepare your provisions, for in three days you are to cross over the Jordan, to go in to take possession of the land that the Lord your God gives you to possess. Our song for this week is number 528 in the ELW, if you're following along with that. Otherwise, you'll be able to follow along just fine without anything in front of you. It is called Come and Fill Our Hearts, and we will sing it through three times. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. 
come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We continue with the prayers, the one labeled one on page 161. O God of many names, lover of all peoples, we pray for peace in our hearts and homes, in our nations and our world, the peace of your will, the peace of our need. Dear Christ, our friend and our guide, pioneer through the shadow of death, passing through darkness to make it light, be our companion that we may fear no evil, and bring us to life and to glory. O God of peace and justice, of holiness and love, knit us together in mind and flesh, in feeling and in spirit, and make us one, ready for that great day, the fulfillment of all our hopes, and the glory of Jesus Christ. Keep us in the spirit of joy and simplicity and mercy. Bless us and those you have entrusted to us, in and through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Creator bless you and keep you. May the beloved companion face you and have mercy upon you. May the eternal Spirit's countenance be turned to you and give you peace. May the three in one bless you. Amen. <laughs>